Hey guys, I hope you're all good. So I've been looking at trying heatless curlers. I've been seeing them like all over TikTok and just all over socials, people raving about them. So I thought, you know what, since I had my hair done, um, haircut about, when was it? In August. Since then, I've been thinking, you know what, maybe I should make like more of an effort with styling my hair because if you've been following me for like the last two or three years, you'll probably ever only see me in two hairstyles. That is my current one, which is dead straight, middle parting, or my hair up in a ponytail. And yeah, it's like, I don't really experiment that much with like hairstyles, probably, ugh, that's big. probably because um, I've just never really been that confident with trying new hairstyles, especially with like having thin hair. It's, it's quite tricky sometimes to um, try out hairstyles that probably look better on um, women who have like thicker hair. So when I try them on myself, I'm like, oh, like it doesn't look as good and I can see like a lot more like of my scalp coming through. Although like I've been more confident with my hair now um, as I was like a few years ago, but it's just the hair styling that I'm not as confident with. So uh, um, if you have been following me, you'll know that I don't really use much heat on my hair either. So like hair straightening really isn't a thing for me because this is <laughs> genuinely my hair after I've washed it. I've literally just got out of the shower about 20 minutes ago. Can you believe it's literally all ready dry as well? I feel like I say literally quite a lot. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be a bit more conscious of that. So yeah, my hair has actually dried like so quickly. Um, I think that's one of the things of having that like, thin hair is that you don't have to wait that long for it to like dry. Um, but anyway, back to my whole thing about heatless curlers. I started having a look at how I could style the front of my hair. So you know, like the shorter bits that I got put in um, when I had my hair done, like. When it's straight, you can't really like tell, but when the um, hairdresser did my hair, she like, well, she blow dried it. So that's why I had a nice flick to like the front bits. And since then, like I've been trying to do it myself, but with like hair straighteners. Um, and like I said, I don't really use hair straighteners. So I don't really want to keep putting heat on my hair like that. Um, so then I had a look at um, the heatless curlers and some reviews on it. So I went and bought myself these are the heatless curlers. There's so many around. Um, so these are like the velvet ones. Um, and I got them off Amazon and it comes in a really cute pack. Um, I actually threw the packaging away, which I could have actually shown you. But it comes with like, oh, I've just literally dropped everything two seconds. Um, it comes with um, a hair, cl hair clip, two velvety hair scrunchies, and I don't know what the other one is, but like two bobbles as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure I paid like $7.99 for the whole thing. And it comes in, okay, I don't know where I put it, but it comes in like a satin bag as well. So it's just nice to keep like everything um, together in one place, like once you've not used it. But yeah, I've been um, looking for some, sorry, I don't know, I've, I've got so much in my hands. Right, let's start again. I'd been researching about um, heatless hair curlers and like which ones are better. So um, there's some which are not velvet and I don't know what material they're made out of, but they're just like, um, is it plastic or rubber or something? But they don't um, hold your hair as well, like when you wrap it around them, like it just falls out apparently. Um, but when I read the reviews on this um, particular one, People were saying that your hair holds better on this. I thought, you know what, can't really go wrong for $7.99, let's try it. And they come in like six or seven different colors. So I let my grandma choose these ones for me. And um, yeah, it's a cute color actually. So I, before I started videoing, I thought, do you know what? Um, let me have a look at how you actually use this because like I said, I don't really experiment with these kind of things, but I would like to start doing it because I don't want to damage my hair with heat. Um, and so, yeah, so I tried it just before videoing and you know what, it's actually so much easier than I actually thought it would be. Um, so I'm going to take free how to do it and we'll have a look at the results together. This is That's the exciting part of it. So they say to leave it in for a few hours. So anyway, we'll get to that bit then. So 
I'm so annoyed because, like I said, I just washed my hair, so it was because I thought, do you know what? If I wash my hair, I'll, I'll get this video done as well, and we can try the heatless curlers together. And my hair's literally just dried out, so um, this is gonna come to the rescue. It's literally just water, so you need to like dampen your hair. I feel like this is gonna go so wrong, like. Oh my god, I feel like I just need to... Oh god, it's like dripping everywhere. Maybe I should go do it in the bathroom. Why do people like on um, on socials make it look like it's so easy and effortless to do? Because boy, this is not... I feel like... Right, we'll start from the bottom. Yeah, it just needs to be wet. And they use like... Do you know what? This pack actually just did come with... Um, a bottle for spray for uh, water and it's pretty rubbish that's the only rubbish part of it do you know what guys i'm gonna go to the bathroom with, and wet my hair and come back okay i'm back and my hair is still dropping oh my god i did not think this bit through but i, I genuinely don't know how some influencers and just generally people who like create the content for this make it look a dead easy to do because the, the way I was struggling to do this. I think it's more so because it's like water and it gets everywhere. But anyway, comb it through as you would. Um, like this or however you comb. Um, a tip that I, that my mum actually taught me is, you know if you've got like knots in your hair, is to not like drag it all the way down. So you know like do it in sections. Um, yeah, you don't want to drag it all out because it'll just break your hair um, and then just like kind of section it off and then just brush it out a bit. If you guys like use different combs that you think are like better for like our thin hair texture, please do let me know. I did try out, um, I think it was like bamboo, tried that for a bit um, and I tried just a wooden, a wooden comb because my mum said like it did help with hers. I mean, she did have, no, she's always had that really thick, like beautiful hair. And then she went through a phase, I think it was because of her iron, that her hair got so thin. And she's convinced that um, her hair got thicker because she was using a wooden comb. So I listened to her and did I get the same results? I did not. <laughs> so yeah, right, so. Hair is wet, I'm sure it could be damp, but mine, I feel like it's just like wet all the way through. Um, so what you wanna do, sorry, all my stuff is like everywhere. Um, my middle parting is still fine. This bit made me laugh when I um, when I was practice running this, because, right, so you're gonna place it on top of your hair. So you know like the clip, these like barely stay in my hair on a, like a normal day because because my hair is so thin, is that what it's meant to be? Because my hair is so thin, right? I can feel the water dripping on my back. Yeah, um, because, all right, what am I trying to say? Because my hair is so thin, um, that it barely stays in. So what you want to do is you want to grab like a small chunk of hair. You want to wrap away from your head, um, away from your face even. And then I heard that the tighter you do this, the more tighter your curls are going to be. When other people were doing, um, by the way, I've just halved my hair at the back as well. When I saw other people doing this on camera, I feel like it looked so much harder. Um, but then when I was doing it myself, it actually wasn't. So as you're wrapping, you want to grab like more hair each time that you do this. And you're just going to wrap it back. And again, just a bit more hair. And you're just going to keep doing that the whole way around. Maybe my hair shouldn't have been this wet when I am to do this. Right, let's have a look. Oh. Like, if I'm able to follow these instructions, then trust me, guys. So are you. I'm really um, excited to see what the results are because if it looks like I've genuinely had, like, a, a blow dry, then best believe I'm gonna be doing this often. Have I got more hair? Yeah, I have. Yeah, it's just cause, um, as you know, don't, 
do you know what? I don't even have the time to be um, just faffing about with hair straighteners all the time. Right, you're just going to keep wrapping all the way around. I have done it a bit tighter this time. When I was doing my practice run, um, it wasn't as tight. So, we've done this part and you're going to secure it with your hair bubbles. Now this bit, I kind of struggled with when I first did it. Oh, it wasn't as bad this time. I think because my hair was like not wet when I was um, doing it. I was just literally faffing about so much. Not faffing, but like my hair was just like doing its own thing at the bottoms. Oh, can it do one more twist? I don't think it can. Right, so that's secure there. And you practically, practically, no, not the right word. You literally, again, my favorite word. You are gonna do the same on this side. Do you know what? It's these front bits that I can't wait to see. Honestly, right. And you know what? Good job I don't have to be anywhere today. It's Sunday, so um, I'm having a day at home. And I thought, you know what? I'll play about with my heatless curlers. Kind of having like a pamper day. I'm going to do my nails, as you can see, like I've been doing. I bought some, um, basically, I got some like, no. My friend had gifted me like loads of uh, rhinestones for like my nails, cause um, I do them at home myself. So she'd gifted me loads of them and I didn't really know how to put them on my nails. I, I was literally just doing them the same way. Like I shellac them. So I was just using like shellac to place them and almost like glue them in place, but that was not working, they were falling off. So, um, why is it taking me like so many years to figure out that I needed glue to put them on? So anyway, long story short, I bought some hair glue. Wait, have I just, what have I, did I grab some hair from the back then? Oh, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I bought some nail gem glue thing. Oh, I think I've gone wrong. Oh no, have I? Oh, we'll just keep going. Um, to use on my nails. So I want to use my rhinestones and bling out my nails a bit. I feel like that side looks so much neater than this side. Like what the hell has gone on here? You know I can't multitask on the best of days so maybe I shouldn't really be telling you a pointless story about my nails at the same time. So yeah, well, wait, yeah, so I was saying, because it's, I was the other one, because uh, it's Sunday, I thought, you know what, I'll just do a bit of, like, me time. Got my steps in this morning, so at least that's done. Make myself a nice lunch. I say that's been the same lunch for, like, the longest, because your girl's back on a diet. Right, so that's done. Can remove the hair clip. And then you just take it to the back like wrap around the back and then you bring it up and then you just tie it I want to do a cute bow but I don't think that's gonna happen so <laughs> we'll go with this for now so um when I've been watching the videos and everything of people doing their hair like this. They've said like to keep it in for a few hours, but the best results are overnight. Um, I don't think it'll be, com oh, it might be comfortable actually to sleep on because it's soft. But I'm not gonna sleep in it overnight because it's half, I'm just looking at the clock, it's half past one now. Um, so in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll go do my nails, make myself my lunch. By then it'll be like, I don't even know what time, maybe four or five o'clock. Um, and then we'll do the unraveling of my heatless curlers together and we'll see what the results are. So I will be right back in a few hours. Right, I'm back after four hours of letting my hair dry. Um, do you know what? It was actually pretty comfortable having this on my head. I thought like it might annoy me, um, but it's fine. So in those few hours, I literally just did my nails. I went for like a chrome pink look um, and then I added these cute little gems to the bottom. Wait. Um, I don't know if I'm feeling like the gems on it. I don't know if I'm, I don't know. Anyway, here's the moment of truth. Let's have a look. Oh my God, why am I already struggling? <gasps> uh, right. 
it. Let's see. I actually really hope that this has worked. <laughs> I saw some of the girls using, oh my God, it's, it's damp. Um, I used some of the girls using like, you know them round brushes? I've lost mine. I actually don't know where it's gone to like comb the curls out. But let's see which side shall we start with. Let's go with the neat side first. Oh my god. I feel like my hair's damp. Oh my god, it's actually really damp. Do you know when I um Ooh, it's working though. Do you know when I went to the bathroom to go wet my hair? I think I actually overdid it. Okay, um what's happened here? <laughs> that, that's my hair, right? Oh good lord. Maybe I need to do this a little oh, okay, wait, I think we're getting somewhere. No, honestly, the videos I saw made it made it look really like effortless. Okay, no, I think that was just a blip. Yeah, my hair's actually still really wet. What the hell? After all these hours, I defo think I should not have. <laughs> no, what the hell? That's not even worked. I'm actually really sad. I am very saddened by this. Is it because, yeah, is it because my hair's like wet? Okay, maybe this video should be how not to use heatless curls. No, but why am I actually holding it all the way up? <laughs> yeah, my hair's actually still really wet. Well, that was a fail, wasn't it? I think we should redo this video and give you guys a proper... <laughs> what the hell? This actually looks like how I started. No, right. I'm not giving up on this. I'm genuinely not because the results I've seen of other girls do this look amazing. And, all right, there's a bit of waves in it. So I think it could work if my hair's damp, not wet. So maybe I do it again. Maybe not today, because I don't know if I can be bothered. <sighs> Ta-da. <laughs> oh, I was, I, I'm actually really disappointed because I was expecting like my hair to look like it's had a blow dry. But instead, it's still wet and it doesn't look like I've had a blow dry. So on that note, I will be back with another video of how to do it properly. I think what I'll do is, in between like filming the next one, I'll do it where, I'll not film, I'll do it another practice run basically, and see how that comes out. But um, yeah, how not to use heatless curlers, whatever you call them now. Oh, I'm actually really sad by this. Not that I had anywhere to go, but do you know when you have an expectation in your mind of how something's gonna look? And it looks nothing like the expectation. Yeah. Okay. Let me just go have my moment now. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's funny. You gotta laugh about it. Right, I'll be back again with another review if these worked on damp hair, not wet hair. So take that away from this video. Don't do it with fully wet hair. Maybe that's why the spray bottles that the girls were using, it was like, they didn't need to go to the sink to do it like I did. <laughs> right, have a beautiful week guys, and I will see you in another video where we get this trial right. See you later, bye.